Hello, my name is Bree and welcome to Documented Journey. Today's video is going to be on travel palettes. So I just kind of wanted to walk you through what I have and I'm going to tell you the pros and cons to both. I do have a more in-depth review on this palette and also the colors that are in this palette on my YouTube channel already and I will link that in the description box. But I kind of wanted to do more of like a comparison. Now this is one that I've made and these are half pans. Um, I have just tacky glued them in there. They're, it's just tacky. And um, I fill the half pans myself with my tube colors and then I just press these in and that's how it goes. And now there are seven colors in here. And so um, there's that one. And then this one, and then this is, I don't even know how to explain this, but it almost looks like a makeup pan, like a, um, an eye makeup pan. And they are metal, so they just stick right in and they're magnetized. In this palette, I have 14 pans. So I would say the pros to this palette. I like it because it has many options of colors. You can obviously see what colors I use the most, but it still has a good variety of options. And it also has a small mixing area. The con to this one, which is the pro of this one, is it doesn't have as many colors and it has no mixing space. This is it. And this isn't the best mixing situation anyway. This folds up really nicely. So that would be, I think, a pro to this. It folds up really nicely. It's thin. If I wanted to, I could stick it in my traveler's notebook. But how I carry this one is this is my pencil case. It's a hard cover. It's just plastic, but it's a hard case and it has foam on the inside. So I can carry things like a fountain pen and not feel too guilty about it. And then this just slides on top and this actually zips closed. And this is all I take with me when I travel for urban sketching. And then I also have, this is just my urban sketch notebook. So it's by Pentalic and yeah, so that's a pro to this as well because I don't think that I would be able to fit this tin in here. Well, maybe I will. I can fit it. So either one would fit in my pencil case. Now, not everyone's gonna have this pencil case, but um, that is that for you. The cool thing about this is you do, get, you do get to fit in half pans. So these colors will last you a very long time. Also, I think seven colors is actually plenty. You don't need this many, you don't need this many colors. I mean, if I would pick out the colors that I've hit pan on, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then you could throw in something else that you would want to use. So I don't think that um, a pro for this is technically the amount of colors because I don't think of that I would actually use 14 colors. I like to carry this when I'm doing my journaling. Um, I like to just put washes of color down in my journal. And at that point, I don't need any mixing trays because I'm really just kind of mixing on my page instead of mixing in a tray and trying to match color to a specific thing. Also, I'm not a, um, a huge stickler on matching colors. I like to play with my colors. If I see a tree that I really like that I want to make, you know, uh, fall colors instead of green like it actually is uh, out in nature, then I would make it fall colors. I'm not... Um, I'm not a stickler on that. So these are the two palettes I have. So I do take this palette with me, Urban Sketching. This is one that I kind of throw in my um, to-go kit when I'm going somewhere and taking my journal with me, just so that I have a few watercolors with me. I do always travel with a water brush with these. Um, I don't travel, even though these are my travel brushes, I don't travel with these because I don't normally carry water. So these are the travel black velvet brushes in round. And um, so those are the only travel brushes I have. But uh, yeah, so 
These are my two travel palettes. Uh, this one is an easy do-it-yourself. You can buy, you can find these tins relatively cheap places, and most of the time you can just throw in your half pans that say, say you have your palette. This is kind of a pro to this one. Hey, mommy. Your gum? You don't want it anymore? No. Okay. Here, I'll take it. So say you have your regular palette. Let's get out this one because that one's full. And this is your desk palette that you just sit on your desk all the time. And um, you might uh, use magnets, but I just use Tiki Tac because I'm cheap. But you can just pull these out and then you could just pop them in here, the colors that you want to take with you. And then you have your to-go kit. And when you want to switch colors, it's not a big deal. You can just put them all back in and switch them out and it's relatively easy. So I just wanted to show you my two travel palettes. I really enjoy these. I've had this one longer than this one, but I haven't been using this one besides the fact that if I go urban sketching somewhere. So that's the only time I use this one. This one I have been playing around with some colors and changing out some colors. Um, I was gifted by Kyra from Simply Creative Kyra. These three, which are my favorite colors, Sap, Nope, sorry. <laughs> this is Yellow Ochre, Sap Green, and Burnt Sienna. Uh, they are Windsor Newton and they're student grade. Um, and so far so good. The only thing I would say, I, the only color I say I don't really care for would be the Raw Sienna. But we can get into that if you're interested in seeing like a color swatch video, you can kind of let me know. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will talk to you in my next one. Bye.